Do you want to see me jump in the water? No. Do you want to see me do it again? I think I've yet to start a video out here in my little balcony. Um, the skyline in the background. And that's because, as you can see, it is so humid out <laughs> that the camera's fogging up. That is actually nuts. I set it aside for 20 seconds and the camera just started vlogging. That's, that's awesome summer for you. But yeah, today I am super pumped because we are in the midst of like our test week. Or I guess we're just at the beginning because it is Tuesday. It is Tuesday, July 30th. And like I said, we're in our test week. So yesterday, we went ahead and tested our best 400 meter, 200 meter, and 100 meter swim, which I'll throw those stats right there. I'm thinking there's gonna be like, from like the training peaks that I sent Parker. So yeah, a 110, 100 meter to end the workout. Um, pretty excited about that one, that's good. But today, I'm so pumped for it because I've been looking forward to this and I've been talking about it. We got the bike already set up. We're gonna be retesting our FTP. So for those that you don't know, because like I'm still very much so new to cycling. Wow, that was blinding. Uh, FTP is like your functional threshold power. It's essentially just like how much power you can produce and hold for like a 20 minute period of time. And the way in which we acquire that number is we do something called a ramp test. So a ramp test, I believe I've done one of these before, back when I was in college when I like first got the bike. Um, a ramp test is every minute, it's gonna increase wattage by 20 watts. So you're gonna start out at like super easy, like 120. Um, and then just like build as far as you can go. It's a test done till failure, which like, if you know me, I'm about to dog this, like I'm gonna give it everything I got and it's only 7.47 in the morning. And then based on your best minute of like the power that you held, that's your FTP. And that's like your estimated 20 minute max hold. Um, a little bit complicated, but essentially what we're gonna try and do is work our way up to a minute of holding the highest possible watts and then from that, it'll give us our FTP, which is just like what minute I held the best power for, I believe. Let me actually look this up. Essentially what power is for cycling, what heart rate is for running. It like determines like your threshold zones. So really this is kind of like a big determinant of how all my workouts are gonna go. Cause I think I was talking about it like last week that like all the power zones felt super easy. So that has me excited. That has me thinking that we're gonna be able to push a shit ton of watts, but first, uh, I just want to talk about fueling for this because it's a 30 minute warm up. The test itself, which can be anywhere between like hopefully close to 20 minutes, you know, 18 to 20 minutes. The most I've done before is like 18. Um, so somewhere around there. But and then after that, I'm doing a 20 minute run off. So I'm just getting off the bike, throwing on my sneakers, going for a 20 minute run. So having a little bit of black coffee, but not all of it. Then I also went ahead, had myself go bar for the oat bar so that's like 36 grams of carbs right there 180 milligrams of sodium and then last but not least during the warm-up i have a scoop and a half of the fruit punch g1m in this water bottle so it's another 30 grams of carbs and i want to say around 450 475 milligrams of sodium so a little bit lighter on the sodium because like once again we are indoors also i mean not really a little lighter on the sodium because I have my like gallon or yeah, 64 ounces, half gallon uh, of water right here. And I put in two sticks of the, or two servings of the BPN electrolytes. This is like a thousand milligrams of sodium and I'll sip on this throughout the day. And then I'll refill this and do just water in this as well. Um, so yeah, I guess we're getting electrolytes regardless. I don't know. As you can see, still kind of getting in the groove of things. I'm so locked in on this like FTP. Like, like I'm really pumped to just get on this bike right now. So I'm gonna set you guys up, show the warm up for a little bit, and then we'll get into the test. Warm up was super easy, a uh, warm up. Um, but now we get to the actual ramp test, the FTP test. So what I'm gonna do is on screen, I'm gonna indicate what wattage I'm at 
per like I guess interval and then you'll be able to see just how hard effort increases but let's do this thing man last time I did this my FTP was 258 so anything above that is a win She is checked. My previous FTP was 255, not 258. Um, today we had 271. So we're seeing improvement. We're getting better. I'm gonna take a second, drink some water, and I think I'm gonna do a 30 minute run instead of a 20 minute run. Because I'm an overachiever, so yeah. I'm told I start these runs a little too hot. So my main priority today is to take me 30 minutes. Super damn easy. Simple, right? Mile one is 8.22. Pretty easy. We're we'll living a negative split, but just see how the legs feel. Mile two, I swear, 8.22 on the dot. I'm gonna see if I can do 8.22 for the last one, too. Mile three is an 8.26. So close. Um, five more minutes of running, though, then we're done. I will talk a little bit more about the FCP workout. As you see, we got through, that was my best power output for one minute, because I averaged, I think it was 358 watts uh, for the full minute. So I got through that 360 watt segment on the ramp test, which is the first time I've ever done that. So pretty stoked about that. And then as a result, my FTP was 271. So essentially what that means is my best power output for 20 minutes straight would probably be around 271 watts on a very flat course. That's not any elevation. That's with nothing else And what you do with that number is you take your FTP so 271 and then you divide it by your weight in kilograms so You do the conversion for me that comes out to be I believe it's like 81 kilograms um, So as a result my like watts per kilogram comes out to be 3.34 uh, watts per kilogram and the run off the bike was just an easy three and a half 30 minute run I had to take it light because as I said it's test week and tomorrow We're testing my 5k time. So that's gonna be super fun. Cannot wait for that one But yeah, 1048 right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. Oh, I wanted to show this off um, Okay, I'm gonna make some food and then I'm going to go and get some overalls because I'm going to the Zach Bryan concert tonight. What? Yeah, I love concerts, so that'll be super fun. That's in San Antonio. So we have today overalls, three clients, uh, and then I'm going to BPN. We're doing a full body lift. And I am squatting. I am going to keep it lighter than usual just due to the fact that, like, I have my 5K test tomorrow and I don't want to, like, tax my legs too much. Um, but yeah, we're just going to keep on grounding, keep on doing our thing. I'm gonna make some food because I'm so hungry right now. Um, and then we'll get going. Also, 40 days out from the Ironman, and I've been going and adding just one quote every day. Today's quote was the absolute classic. When you're good at something, you'll tell everyone. When you're great at something, they'll tell you.
I wish you'd say there's something different or special about this breakfast, but it's the same thing I eat every single day. So like, honestly, we're just gonna enjoy it. You wanna see them pretty cool? I've had this green apple flight for over a year now. They don't even make green apple flight anymore. Like I, I've just like held on to it and like periodically, like once a month, I'll have a scoop of like this flavor because I've known like it's gone. So they aren't making any more of it. Um, but I literally have like one more scoop left. So it's pretty sad. But yeah, we're gonna go get overalls and uh, Ian's coming with us and then we're going to BPN, work out, come home, probably get more food and then have a damn good night. You. Picked him up, bro. <laughs> Walk me, you're walking through. Damn. The Damn, get the 180, get the 180. She, okay, okay. That's him, baby, that's him.
going to bed. I actually like the sun coming in at this angle. It is somewhat blinding, but as long as I don't look that way and I look this way, we're good. Also, I love the outro portions of these videos because it's like the chance that I get to like be like very genuine. I feel like during my days, I'm constantly doing a lot, whether it be workouts, whether it be working with clients, whether it be, you know, just being out in Austin. It seems like I'm always like nonstop until like the minute I, my head hits the pillow and then I usually pass out cold because I'm really tired. Um, but these outro clips are always just like a chance for me to like sit with my experiences, and my thoughts over the past few days and like be like very authentic with like how I'm truly feeling. And the truth is, is that I'm feeling um, very nervous for this Iron Man. And truly it's nervous in the best way possible. And it's kind of like a reflection of everything that I'm experiencing in my life right now. Um, there's so much good, like, like literally an abundance of good and I'm so grateful for all of it. Um, and I really do forget a lot of times that I'm a 21 year old kid who just graduated college two months ago and now I'm living, you know, 2000 miles away from my family and my own place, just like very much so like self-dependent and my life, as I said, you know, moves really fast and I feel like a lot of times I don't acknowledge the fact that I don't have to be like perfect with every single thing I do. Like for example, like the 5k test that I was supposed to do, um, it, you know, didn't go the way that I wanted it to go. I like tied my previous PR. Um, I wanted to do a lot better. You know, there were multiple factors, but to me, I was just like, I didn't do well enough. I should have done better with it. And then I take a step back and realize I'm like, dude, you just attempted a lot 5k PR at 12 p.m. in Austin, Texas at, in the end of July. You know, th there's multiple factors that play an effect on that. Um, but I think just as like a human being, I struggle a lot to like, I, I always go back and forth, like, am I making excuses for myself or am I just ignoring the fact that like, there are limitations to what I'm trying to do right now. That's in everything, that's in like work, that's in content, you know, I, I just, I always expect myself to like, be the absolute best at every single thing I do. And especially with Iron Man right now, since it is something that's so new to me, I know I'm not there yet. And I like will like flip flop back and forth between like these days where I have these good workouts and these good training sessions and I like feel the progress. And I'm like, yep, like I'm definitely pushing forwards. And then I'll have these training sessions with these days where I'm kind of questioning, I'm just like, am I doing something wrong? Like, like should I, be doing something more? Do I need to be training more? Do I need to be doing more? It's, it's like always this back and forth is to like, am I, am I doing enough? Am I enough just in general? And like I said, I think that's just a reflection of everything with my life right now where I'm like, oh, like, should I be like working harder? Should I be trying to get a job? Should I be like, like, like there's just so many things where I'm just like, should I, should I, should I? And I think I just have to like always like sit back and like remind myself that like, should, doesn't always mean like you have to, you know what I mean? Like you should do a million different things in a day um, that we like fail to do as human beings because we're human beings, you know what I'm saying? Um, if I should have had perfect workouts every single day, I would be a literal robot and I probably wouldn't have a social life or wouldn't like be a functioning human, like member in society because I'd be so dialed in on being like, so perfect with every other aspect of my life, you know? I think everything in life is like the, the bucket of water metaphor, where it's just like, you have multiple buckets of water. Um, one is for like work, one is for relationships, one is for like physical fitness, if that's what you're into. But like, there's always like a give and a take, you know what I'm saying? And that like, if you try and pour all your water into one entire bucket, then the other two are gonna be empty, or the other three are gonna be empty. It's, it's about, having that balance and accepting that balance and realizing that like if it comes a time where you can't go out with your friends because you're prioritizing training a little bit like that's okay as long as that doesn't become the norm you realize that like if your training session has to get bumped around or shortened a little bit because you're going out with your friends to a concert that shouldn't like that's okay you know what i'm saying um and i think that's just something that i gotta keep learning and just give myself some time i i really <laughs> I, I need to learn how to be more patient when I do things I want them to be like that you know 
starting Ironman training, I want to be a sub 10 Ironman like that without realizing like, yeah, there's a lot of work that goes into that. So I think as a human being for myself and for anyone else out there, be patient with yourself. You know, we are constant works in progress. You don't have to be perfect today because you'll actually never be perfect. So just accept yourself for who you are today and realize that the person that you want to be tomorrow is achievable by just like waking up and being that person. I don't know if any of that made sense. I, I feel like there was a lack of coherence and all of that, but you know what? That's going to be enough to end the video. Um, I want to thank you all very much so for watching. Code Hop for BPM for Gymshark. Uh, Inner Flame, the new triathlon training plan is up, so if you're interested, go check it out. Um, plus coaching and all the other training plans. And then, yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We just hit 90,000 followers on Instagram, which is unreal. I can't believe that, it's so wild. Um, but yeah, like truly, every single aspect of my life, like I, I'm really grateful for. And I just appreciate all of you so much for making it my reality, so yeah. Thank you guys so much. I think I've said thank you like a thousand times, but whatever. I'm going to thank you guys one more time. Um, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.